All right, so this video is going to be some review of our convergence divergence tests for series. Okay, now before we even talk about our tests, we need to talk about the two popular series that we won't need to use a test for. Okay, and the first of those is the P series. Okay. The P series, which of course does pop up a lot in your tests anyway, like you might compare to it or something like that, but you know, of course it does pop up. Now a P series takes on the form the sum from n equals one to infinity of one over n to the P. Okay, that P, right? P series. Okay, that P means everything to whether this converges or diverges. If P is greater than one, then this series converges. However, if that P is less than or equal to one, then the series is going to diverge. All right, and that is the first of the two popular series that you're going to see a lot and don't really need to use a test for. The second being a geometric series. Okay, now for a geometric series, that has the form, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of a times r to the n minus 1. Of course, r, that's that common ratio that you've, you've, you've talked about before when, you know, dealing with series that weren't infinite back in, in high school and all that stuff. So this is familiar to you, okay, this r right here. Now, this r is going to tell us if this series converges or diverges. And if that r is in between negative one and one, then we know that it converges. Whereas if it's something else, then we know it diverges, okay? So now that we've got that set, you know, we, we already know the P series, the geometric series, we can actually dive into our tests. All right, so that was a ton of writing. I'm, yeah, I'm tired. But, uh, <laughs> you know, here is all your tests. And we start off with the test for divergence. Okay, that was, that was a pretty simple test. One of the simplest tests that we have on there, if not the simplest, okay? We're just testing to see if it diverges, as the name says. Okay, we test that by seeing if the limit as n approaches infinity does not equal zero. If it doesn't equal zero, it diverges. If it does equal zero, then it doesn't converge. It's inconclusive, okay? We need to go to another test. The integral test, okay? We're just comparing the series to an integral, an improper integral, that is. And if that integral converges, well, then we know that our series converges. If that series diverges, or sorry, if the integral diverges, then we know that the series diverges. Okay, next is comparison test, okay? Here, it's just the same thing as comparison theorem. This one actually should be one of the most familiar to you because we've done this with improper integrals, okay? If you have an a sub n, okay, that is in between zero and b sub n, and you know that the b sub n, okay, when it's the sum from n equals one to infinity of b sub n, that converges, well, that's gonna mean that your, a, your, your sum of, or your series with a sub n is going to converge. Now, on the contrary, if you have a sub n that's greater than or equal to b sub n, which is greater than zero, and you know that the sum from n equals one to infinity of b sub n diverges, well, now you know that since a sub n is greater than b sub n, a sub n is also going to diverge. All right, next is the limit comparison test, okay? And this test, was it, it's it can be a little well it's not too involved but it's a little more involved because you kind of see that okay comparison test isn't going to work here but i can use a limit comparison test okay that's kind of what leads up to you using the limit comparison test now you take the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n over b sub n okay b sub n being that as it was in the comparison test is the the series that you are comparing to okay and that limit, if it's equal to a, a constant number that is greater than zero, okay, and you know that the series with b sub n in it converges, well, then you know that the series with a sub n converges as well. All right, now, if, uh, 
if you have the same conditions, but the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of b sub n diverges, well, you know that the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of a sub n will also diverge, okay? And this is inconclusive if you don't achieve that, that constant c with, you know, it, it's not greater than zero or something like that. Maybe it's, it's infinite, something like that, okay? That's going to be, um, that's going to be inconclusive. So for alternating series, that's our next test. This proves convergence, okay? If you have an alternating series that is decreasing, okay, and it has a, the, the limit as that approaches infinity of b sub n equaling zero, then you know that this series converges, okay? Now your b sub n here is different. Your b sub n here is just taking out the part that makes it a alternating series. Then you have your b sub n, that's it. Okay, so that's how you get your b sub n. You don't prove divergence with this. If it's not decreasing or that limit does not equal zero, then you know that it's inconclusive. Go to another test. Okay, now the next test is ratio test. Okay, and basically all you're doing is taking the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one. So just plugging in n plus one for n and putting that over a sub n, which you pretty much are, are you're, you're, you're given a sub n, you know? And you see if that's less than one, greater than one, or equal to one, and that's going to tell you if it converges, diverges, or inconclusive, or it's inconclusive. Now, how I like to remember this is if this limit is greater than one, it's big, right? It's big, and that means it diverges, okay? That's just kind of how I saw it. Now, with the root test, now you're taking the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n. And again, you're seeing if it's less than one, greater than one, or equal to one, and that's gonna tell you whether it converges, diverges, or if it's inconclusive and you need to try another test, okay? So with all that being said, this isn't going to be terribly hard to memorize, okay? With a lot of repetition and everything, it actually becomes a lot easier than you think, okay? And we're gonna be talking about this, we're gonna be doing a lot of example problems in the videos to come. All right, and in the next video, we'll be talking about this acronym DICLAR, which is going to help you just have a method of performing these tests on a series to see if it's convergent or divergent when you're not given a specific test to use. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon!